he spreads out the northern skies over empty space, he suspends the earth over nothing. So when did mankind finally understand about gravity in outer space? It all began with the story of Sir Isaac Newton, who first published the Universal Law of Gravitation in 1687. But the book of Job in the Bible has been carbon dated to be 3,500 years old. Welcome to Deep Facts, where we uncover scientific truths hidden within the pages of the Bible. Did you know that the concept of gravity was mentioned in the book of Job over 3,500 years ago? Job 26 verse 7 describes how God suspends the earth over nothing, long before Isaac Newton's universal law of gravitation. Similarly, Job also talks about the water cycle in Job 26 verse 8 and Job 36 verses 27 to 28, detailing evaporation, precipitation, and condensation, centuries before modern science understood it. He wraps up the waters in his clouds, yet the clouds do not burst under their weight. He draws up the drops of water, which distill as rain to the streams, the clouds pour down their moisture and abundant showers fall on mankind. Draws up drops of water, evaporation, distill as rain to the streams, precipitation. Clouds pour down their moisture, condensation. Though it's common knowledge now, mankind didn't come to understand about the water cycle until about 400 years ago, throughout the 1670s. But, again, there it is in the Bible written 3,500 years ago by a man with no profound scientific understanding. But perhaps most intriguing is Job's insight into the Earth's core in Job 28 verse 5. The Earth, from which food comes, is transformed below us by fire. Now, even if there is an argument about the visibility of the water cycle, how about the Earth's core? Job writes that the Earth is transformed below by fire. This isn't it just came to me writing. Do we really need to study hard about gravity? the water cycle, and the earth's core to understand God better and receive salvation? No. These scientific accuracies in the Bible show that God's word goes far beyond just spiritual teachings, it also reveals profound scientific truths. So, while understanding these facts may not be necessary for salvation, they serve as a testament to the factual nature of the Bible as the word of God. I don't know about you, but that's far more desirable than any chemistry class I ever had to take.